spin into the butterfly. eventually it's a lot of fun on spin. To start the butterfly, you want to make sure that your cradle spin is pretty good. So you don't necessarily have to be completely horizontal, but you want to be strong in that position. To do the cradle, I'm going to take my top leg and I'm going to put it against the pole on the opposite side of my hips. So if, let's say my arm is my leg, it's going to be pushing up against the pole just like that. From there, I'm going to push on my bottom arm really hard as I throw my hips back. It might help to look down the pole and down your arm. Remember your gun grip to protect your wrist. I'm going to kick into my cradle. From here, I take my top leg and I push up and I'm putting it on the other side of the pole as my hips. From here, I'm going to try and think about pushing my butt that way. As I'm pushing, my bottom arm is going to drop and slide down the pole. When sliding your hand down, you always want to make sure you do it. When sliding your hand down, you always want to make sure that you're sliding it and that you're not letting go and breathe your thing. I'm going to hold really tight with my top arm, and I'm going to also look down the pole at my bottom arm. So as I'm looking and sliding, my leg comes back. From here, to get out, you do the reverse. You look down the pole as you try and bring your hips back to the same spot. You straighten your top leg, and you come out. After you get your butterfly on static, it's now time to try and spin. By doing the cradle into the butterfly, you want to use the centripetal force to benefit you rather than make it harder. As you're spinning around, think about pushing your butt back, and that will help you get up. The harder you kick your leg, the more you're going to spin. There are a couple variations that can be done during the butterfly. You can have the double stack, which is when both of your legs are bent at a 90 degree. You can also have just one leg bent in the stack so that your one leg, so that your back leg is straight. This one is a little bit harder just because you do have to think about keeping your leg completely straight. If you're at that in-between kind of half straight, half bent, it doesn't look as nice. When you're in the double stack, you don't have to think about keeping your leg straight and keeping bent it, and everybody knows what it's supposed to look like. You can also do an extended butterfly, which is when you keep just your heel. So just the part that's on the pole, hooked, and then you open up into a splint. 